Hi, we're here in Coburg, the town of Coburg, and I'm interviewing Meg Quigley. Meg, who are you and what do you do? Hi, I'm Meg Quigley. I am from Coburg locally. I was born here and raised here. I went to St. Mary's High School and then I went to the University of Guelph. I graduated there with a bachelor's in bioresource management and a major in environmental management. Um, my passion is really to do with trees and anything outdoors. Uh, so in January, I'll be going to Fleming in Lindsay for their forestry tech program. I have worked for Northumberland County for their forestry department for the last two summers and I've gained a lot of experience. And uh, I got to be here today with Rotary in the conservation park planting some trees, which was awesome. Can you describe why these trees are important to the town of Coburg's sustainability? Um, so as we were informed while we were doing our plant, this area actually had 75 ash trees removed because of the emerald ash borer infestation. So these trees are helping to both uh, combat that take, take back from all the things that we took down because of that infestation, but also to help our air and help give shade to people that are coming to visit and help with uh, erosion in the soil and help sustain the water in the area and just give people an overall fun place to be and enjoy being outside. That's great. And the last question is, can you say something about how trees sequester carbon, which is a greenhouse gas emission. Oh god, I feel like I'm in school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, they take in carbon into their leaves and their roots and everything else, change it into oxygen. They use that up for energy and expel it as oxygen into the earth atmosphere and we get to breathe that in and go and play our sports in the park and walk around and stroll. <laughs> That's great. So these hundred trees that have been planted by the Rotary in celebration of its hundredth year anniversary are going to purify the air for our future soccer players here in the town of Coburg. Thanks, Meg.